Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which I'm going to show you how to install sodium and fabric for Minecraft 1.17.1. That's right, even though Sodium for 1.17.1 has not officially been released to CurseForge, you can already download a pretty solid release for 1.17.1. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install that version. Of course, a few things before we get started. If you already enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos pop up on your homepage regularly, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And last but not least, the links you're going to need for this video will be down in the description. So to get started installing Sodium for Minecraft 1.17.1, we need Minecraft 1.17.1 first. So open up your Minecraft launcher and then select the profile latest release 1.17.1 or if 1.17.1 is no longer the latest release when you're watching this video in the future go over to installations new installation name it whatever you want i'm gonna name this one just daniel and then under version you can no longer select re latest release because that will be a newer version just click it scroll down until you find release 1.17.1 click that and click create you now have a profile that has this custom name that you just gave it and 1.17.1 and now you can click play this will actually make sure minecraft 1.17.1 is downloaded to your pc first so here we are in minecraft 1.17.1 now you can just click quit game now the next thing we're going to do is open up our browser i'm just going to use chrome but you can use any browser you want if you prefer to look everything up yourself you can do that as well because i'm going to show you how to do that as well but if you want to post that has all the links for you you can just go down into the description and use the link to danielplays.net to find all the links to installing fabric and sodium. This is the post that has all the links that you're gonna need. Actually, it's just one link for fabric. It's very, very easy. It's usually much easier than installing Forge even. So what you wanna do is click fabric mod loader right here. You may get an ad after clicking that link, but don't worry, after you click it another time, you will be taken to fabricmc.net where you have to find this bit that says installation and then right here, it's very well hidden, it says download here. And you click here and then depending on what operating system you're on, you're gonna download the jar or exe file. If you want it the easy way and you're on Windows, definitely select the Windows one because it's way easier. Of course, if you're on any other operating system, you have to go with the universal one and it should work, but the Windows one is very, very straightforward in my opinion. So just click this one. It will download an installer. You just click that. There we go. That's the fabric installer. As you can see, we've selected client, Minecraft version 1.17.1. The loader version should just be set to the most recent one. And then you have to select create profile here because otherwise it's going to be very hard to actually find it later on. So just select create profile and then click install. It's usually just a matter of seconds and then it will say successfully installed. You click OK, close the launcher, and now we're going to download Sodium. And you can just do a quick Google search for Sodium mod, but you can also scroll down in this post where I've linked some popular fabric mods that I've used in tutorials. So here you go. There's a link to Sodium. If you click it just like that, you'll be taken not to CurseForge. You'll be taken to this website where you can find Sodium 0.3.2 which may be updated to 0.3 and 0.4, etc. in the future. Don't worry about that. But for now, you have to download them from this website and then you just scroll down, find the one that says sodiumfabric.jar. You just click it and it will start downloading. And that's pretty much it. Because it is a .jar file, you have to click keep right here. You drag it over to your desktop just like that so we can access it later all we got to do now is go over to the search bar right here and type in percent app data percent and then click this folder find the folder that says dot minecraft if you already installed mods before but they're not compatible with fabric or they're not up to date for 1.17.1 delete that folder or rename it and now what you want to do also if you've never installed sodium before you right click hover new create a new folder and call it mods lowercase. Just like that, double click the folder and it should be empty. Now drag in this sodium fabric jar file and that's pretty much it for the installation. So now you can close this folder, open up your Minecraft launcher and then under profiles, it should have now automatically selected the fabric loader for 1.17.1. If you can't find it over here, perhaps because you've got a ton of profiles here, go over to installations and then in the search bar here, type in fabric and you will find the fabric loader for 1.17.1. Now all you got to do is click play on that profile. It will show you a warning 
that is something that was just recently implemented because of course modded versions of Minecraft are not officially supported. So be careful with that. If you understand the risks though, you can tick this box right here and click play. It's totally normal for a small download to happen here. It shouldn't take too long should be a matter of just seconds and then the game will actually launch. So here we are in Minecraft 1.17.1 with fabric as you can see in the bottom left corner it says slash fabric modded. So I'm gonna hop into a world and show you the new video settings layout. So here we are in Minecraft 1.17.1 I'm gonna go over to options video settings and as you can see this looks totally different from the normal vanilla video settings menu. So you have a general tab here that still gives you the option to set your render distance and some other settings. Then there's quality, which includes mostly settings that you have in normal Minecraft as well. And then there's advanced, which are some settings that you normally do not have access to, but are actually implemented or set by Sodium. So Sodium should be a great FPS booster. Sodium usually gives a great FPS boost to people on low end PCs. It doesn't help me as much on a higher end PC, but overall, just like with Optifine, it plays very smoothly. The one downside to Sodium is that even though it performs better than Optifine in most cases, it is not compatible with shaders. So if you want to run shaders in Minecraft, you cannot use Sodium just yet. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video actually helped you install Sodium for Minecraft 1.17.1. It can be a bit of a pain because it's not as easy as installing any other mod just yet. So I hope you enjoyed this video and as always I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!